Hi everyone and welcome to the Bare Bones Fishing uh, YouTube channel. So today what I wanted to do is just show you the equipment that I use when I go trolling for walleye out on uh, Lake Erie. And so I'm going to show you the two cases that I've got. I've got this case here and I've also got this case here. And those are literally the two cases that I pull out um, and that I use 97% of the time. Very seldom do I have to deviate from the setups that I've got in these two small cases here. And so let's start off with the, with the lures. In terms of body baits, uh, I'm a big fan of the Ripplin Red Fins. This one right here is my, my go-to. And so this is just a chrome Ripplin Red Fin with a black top there. And uh, if you take a look at the paint job on it, you can see that this thing has been through the ringer. Uh, so much so that I'm gonna have to probably, I don't know if it's coming through in the camera here, but I'm gonna have to probably replace these uh, sometime this season. And this is my go-to. This is what I always start off with, these chrome uh, uh, Ripplin Redfins and what I'll pair these with is a two ounce inline sinker okay now I've got uh, other size sinkers uh, but I find that you know the two ounce uh, does a really good job and then also in my kit here I just have these uh, these leaders okay that I've got these pre-tied leaders that I've got so the way that this will work is I'll snap on one of the inline sinkers and so this here goes to my main line and then at the other end here is where I'll tie on the uh, or not tie on but snap on the Ripplin Redfin and I've just got some good high quality uh, snap swivels here and so that makes it really easy to transition and change things if need be and the leader length here this one's about three feet long uh, I have different sizes that uh, that I'll grab onto every once in a while but I usually default to that three foot leader and so um, in terms of the Ripplin Redfin like I said I usually like to start with that that silver one so other colors of Ripplin Redfin that I'll use, uh, another popular one is the, uh, is the gold. And so uh, I've got a couple of gold ones here. This one is a gold bottom. This one is an orange bottom. Uh, and you can see it has a black back as well. This one has also been beat up quite a bit over the last few seasons, probably have to replace this one. So this is kind of my, my secondary option that I'll change to if the, the bronze or the, uh, the silver isn't working out. And then from there, okay, very seldom uh, are used, but uh, on occasion, I'll uh, throw them on. So I have one here that's uh, incredibly bright. And then here I have one of those UV uh, UV uh, style ones. Honestly, the vast majority of the time that I'm out, uh, I'm using the silver and the uh, and the gold. Now, keep in mind um, that I only target walleye in Lake Erie, typically for. Um, July and August and because of the size of my boat I'm relegated to pretty nice days uh, so you know I'm I'm I've always wondered if the reason why these colors work well with me is because I'm relegated to a certain amount of days that I can go out uh, versus you know if I could go out in really really rough weather or if I had a canopy and I could be out in the rain are there different colors that would work better but anyways that's just a fisherman's theory that I've got. So with the uh, Ripplin red fins I will also attach those uh, to a uh, planer board. Okay so next up my spoons. So with uh, the spoons, okay, I will typically use a, a dipsy diver. Now this one here is a number three. This is the biggest dipsy diver uh, that is made. Um, and I will use this one on occasion, but my preference is to use the number uh, number twos, which are this next um, size smaller. And so it, this is also uh, also a very similar or uh, a simple setup. So this clasp here goes to my main line. I'll use one of the same leaders that I just showed you with the Ripplin Red Fin, and then um, that will be attached here. And then you know you'll have a three to six foot uh, leader. And then the spoons that I use. So my third favorite colored spoon to use is this one here, which is called the uh, Pink Panties. Um, 
And so these are all uh, Silver Streak spoons, by the way. Uh, there's a lot of local companies around here that make really good high quality spoons as well uh, and they all seem to use the same uh, the same uh, names okay so anyhow uh, but these are silver streak ones specifically so this is my my third option my next favorite is this one here you can see i've got two of them and so these are what are called the greasy chicken wing okay and so you can see on here it's got a black tiger stripe at the top and then an orange stripe at the bottom gold in the middle and so this is my um, my second favorite option and then my favorite spoons to use are uh, are these ones here and so this is called the uh, Dr. Death or the Kevorkian see this one here it's just kind of a pink and a purple mixed in this one has a bronze back this is actually one of their smaller spoons I do have a larger uh, larger sizes uh, that I like to use as well um, and so that is my my favorite uh, my favorite one to use okay and uh, I like to use these these ones tend to work really well early morning or later in the afternoon as the sun's coming up or going down um, and then you know I'll trans transition over to that uh, greasy chicken wing um, a little bit later in the, in the morning and so uh, I've got a couple of other colors of spoon that uh, that I like to to go to as well from time to time um, but to be honest uh, I very very seldom uh, make it past those three options the Kevorkian the greasy chicken wing and then the pink panties there's my uh, setup that I like to use when I'm trolling out on uh, on Lake Erie uh, let me know what your favorite lures are um, in the comments below thank you very much for tuning in and I will catch you on the next one